Unlocking the information about why San Luis Obispo County is going to be hitting really good real estate opportunities for you here in our area. Ready to dive into a market full of opportunities to learn why San Luis Obispo County is evolving to the next hotspot here in the state of California. And we're going to get to it so right So here's now. what you need to know. We're going to really break it down in this video. The first thing is that we are experiencing uh, economic growth. So our tech industry has been evolving lately these last few years. Uh, also, we have our diverse industries. Uh, agriculture is huge. We've mentioned that before, 30% of the um, agriculture comes out of the area. And then the, you know, the last thing that's the strongest um, component to our economic growth is the tourism. And uh, that is probably always going to be the case because of the attraction to the area, everything that it offers. Um, you know, with the tourism, the beach, the historical opportunities that are here to explore because we are in San Luis Obispo County and we have a lot of history here uh, throughout the whole county. Each little area, each pocket has its special, unique, charming, a uh, historical, uh, you know, history that you need to explore. And that just uh, is uh, feeding into our economic growth because it attracts the tourism. And obviously we have our university with education. So that's a very huge attraction, which also uh, flows into our economic growth. And this then spills over to the real estate. So this is one of the components that, uh, you know, will factor into why the uh, San Luis Obispo County is known to be a next little real estate, uh, you know, gem that can be an opportunity for you to hold um, real estate here, you know, make it your primary residence or uh, in, invest in the college areas or the high traffic tourist areas will always uh, hold tight for you too. So, uh, you know, this is a huge factor for uh, the real estate strength that is coming to San Luis Obispo County is the economic growth that is evolving quickly here in the area. Moving on to our next uh, factor here is why the uh, slow real estate market is going to be booming or holding strong here is that we have uh, Economics 101 is supply and demand. Uh, you hear this in the national news. It is much tighter and much more desirable in the state of California here in Slow County in particular. So that component has not changed uh, over the years. If anything, the demand has increased, the buyer demand has increased and the supply is not there for uh, the communities or the people that wanna come into the area. So uh, that is something that uh, you should take note of for sure is that the, uh, you know, the low inventory is uh, impacting the real estate market. Uh, in particular, you know, Something that you should be aware of is that we do have a growth ordinance uh, in the uh, San Luis Obispo County. So everything that you're seeing flourishing right now has been in the works for years. So just as you, as you have heard all around, because of our low inventory that and bringing in competition, that drove the prices up, which was a good investment for sellers who were selling and investors who were looking for real estate that was going to be appreciating. So again, just because of our limited inventory here, particularly in San Luis Obispo County, uh, that drove prices up and is an attraction uh, to sellers and investors. And that also makes the area a good real estate market. All right, so all this activity in the area with the buyers wanting to move here and limited inventory that just drove everything up. And so that, that's what makes us a good a uh, big real estate market in Slow County. Now, um, we do do monthly uh, breakdowns of the real estate market for you for San Luis Obispo County. I do those on a monthly. I'll put the link over here. Uh, so you can also check that out and you can also wait till the end of the video and move on to that and evaluate. So I typically do those at the beginning of the month. So those will go more into detail, but just in general, 
we just want you to let you know that's you know economics 101 supply and demand that brings everything up and makes this a good uh, target area for big uh, real estate um, influence here that is one of the components that helps slow county be the next uh, big real estate market area all right and this next thing to know which is one of the highlights of living here on the central coast and particularly in San Luis Obispo County is the quality of life, uh, the de desirability to live here, uh, you know, the uh, capability of being outdoors for most of the year, uh, the lifestyle that it gives you to have a healthy lifestyle at your fingertips, no, no matter where you land in the county. Uh, this is the hands down a huge factor in uh, the attraction to the area. And I believe in my heart is, you know, that that is what people are paying the high ticket price for. Uh, and, you know, the locals have, that have lived here, it's it's bittersweet. You know, we, we want it to grow, uh, but we all want it to, we want it to stay a quiet, calm, charming town. Uh, but growth is inevitable and people are coming here. Um, it's still pretty slow compared to the rest of the California. And that again is another reason why it's desirable and it gives that quality of life uh, because of all the things that it can offer uh, you know as you're moving into the area and again no matter what chapter you are in your life whether you're starting a family a young executive um, single and if you're retiring or downsizing or trying to move from another state uh, and relocate to California uh, hands down here, the climate, um, you know, the uh, all the health stuff that I've said before is right here at your fingertips all year long. So that is quality of life, hands down, uh, is one of the biggest factors of why uh, San Luis Obispo County is holding really strong in the real estate market. And I believe it to continue to do that uh, following uh, the years to come. All right, well, Cal Poly, the University, California Polytechnic State University is a huge, huge component to our uh, evolving real estate, big real estate market here in Slow County. And that's not going to change. It is uh, well sought out uh, for the business degrees and ag degrees. Engineering is huge. Um, a lot of you are moving back over here. It's been great to have you reach out and want to move your families over here. Um, and then also retire retirees are reaching out since we are a relocation specialist here in the area. Our team is that you're reaching out uh, because you went to Cal Poly, you loved it here, but you had to move and you know go make your career somewhere else. And now you're able to come back. So lots of stories. Um, it's been quite eventful this last, um, this last month. <laughs> quite honestly. So uh, a lot of you have been reaching out and it's been very fantastic to hear from you and try to make your way over here. So we've been filled with appointments and we just love helping you all um, try to make your way back here and let you know what's available here for you. And even within the state of California, uh, when you're trying to leave those high density locations and get over here, and we just love being able to share with you what else is available. But again, because of Cal Poly, because of the university and the educational, the steamed educational facility, facilities that we have here, that is uh, always going to help the real estate market stay strong here. So that is one of the components that helps um, Slow County most definitely. Uh, so that is why it's going to be continuing to stay strong uh, here in the near future. If anything, around Cal Poly for real estate it's very well sought out as well. And parents are making investments. Um, more investors are coming in to, uh, you know, have those uh, types of investments here in San Luis Obispo County, because as we all know, the rents are uh, crazy good for that purpose. Uh, so again, um, the Cal Poly has definitely helped in that arena and uh, that's not gonna go away. All right, friends, so I'm hoping you're finding this information of value. This is very little tidbits of things to have you think about as you are uh, wanting to bring yourself over here or invest here. 
uh, whatever it may be for you in particular. That's why we would love for you to reach out so we can talk your specifics. And as I've told you in the past, you just got to give us a call, text, email. But right now, give us a like if you like the video. It really helps us keep going right now. We're really trying to focus on uh, when to do the videos, how long we're, we're improving our editing, all the things to bring you more uh, information to help you as you're uh, doing your move over here. Uh, but that again, that like, give us a comment, let me know what you would like to know about or if you agree or disagree with these particular points that we're making in this video. Uh, so let's get to the rest. Right, why is Slow County going to continue going to evolve into a big real estate market here in California? Well, the next one is that it's in, uh, investment potential. So investors know uh, because of the lack of inventory, because of the uh, uh, student housing that's needed and the Cal Poly, uh, you know, opportunity that's here for kids to come and need need housing, um, and because of the diverse demographics and how this area can cater to that, um, you know, all demographics, that strength, that vitality allows an investor to comfortably bring their money here. And that makes the market stay strong. And I believe that's what's gonna continue to make it a big real estate market in Slow County. So to, again, think that there might be some downturn, I'm not gonna say that we're not, um, you know, privy to that or that we're not, we're sheltered from that, but we are our own little special place. And because we cannot always be building and we don't have all the land um, like other areas, uh, you know, we, you only have what you can, what you can provide. So that is a potential for investors here. And some of the, these numbers that make really good sense. And we can uh, show you the data of year over year, month over month. You know, we can have those conversations. Um, we've sold, uh, you know, several lots to builders. We've sold a cluster of lots to builders that are in, in that uh, development process right now. Uh, so, you know, all of that is out there and investors uh, like the area and can see the potential and it, it's making sense. So that is um, another big factor to continue to see slow uh, get moving forward in a big real estate market here in California. All right, another component to uh, the San Luis Obispo being the next big uh, real estate market here in California is the job opportunities and employment here in Slow County. Uh, some might differ or, uh, you know, kind of poo poo this on me. Uh, but we are seeing more jobs uh, come up, uh, especially in the medical field. And again, because you can have that quality of life, uh, the medical, we can get some good doctors in the area because they're just over wherever else they've been working. And so high stress in the high, uh, you know, city areas. And we all know what they went through a few years back. So they're happy to take a cut and pay and move here for the quality of life. And um, you know, they're very well qualified and things of that nature. So um, there's yeah, obviously hospitality that's very strong here. And we have, um, you know, our attractions, our uh, tourist attraction uh, community too, that is very strong. And then our small businesses onto, you know, county and city jobs that are very strong for us here, the more higher paying uh, positions and then we have PG&E, Pacific Gas and Electric Dabble Canyon. So again, all those workforces are here and strong and growing and you know our our government officials are always looking to bring in bigger companies if possible. Uh, there's a lot of organizations working on those types of uh, ventures to um, bring in some heavy hitters to provide the community with great jobs. So that is another component to why uh, slow is evolving into a big real estate market in california and that is attractive to uh, a lot of people and uh, and really sustains our community and lets us grow in that direction to help our community get better jobs and that again um, spills over into the real estate market because those uh, good employers and uh, will need good employees and housing to provide uh, for those jobs. So that is another component to uh, where we can continue to see strength in Slow County in the real estate market. 
I appreciate you hanging on to the end. This is a good uh, uh, factor for you to consider as well. It's kind of contradicting the before one, but it does make sense when you hear me out. Um, so the next thing that uh, facilitates Slow County becoming the next big uh, real estate market in California is the development and infrastructure. Infrastructure. So hear me out. Like I said, a lot of these developments have taken a long time. Well, at this time that we're at the end of 2023, beginning of 2024, we have new construction uh, developments that are in, in the works. So um, uh, we've got a couple in uh, Grover Beach. We have a lot going on in San Luis off of the 101. You will see that uh, right by Madonna uh, in. And then um, we've got um, some others that are just wrapping up. And then we have new ones coming up in Paso Robles. Uh, there's going to be a huge planned unit development coming into uh, Napomo, California, which is south of San Luis proper. Uh, that is the southern town, uh, almost um, then the next town would be Santa Barbara or the next county, I should say. So uh, that, again, is something that's uh, helping the uh, real estate market here in Slow County and keeping it strong is that we do have things that are being offered. Uh, you know, those new construction uh, builders can provide great incentives for your interest rate, which has been the biggest, you know, uh, hindrance for a lot of people. So they, they're able to offer that. And we have a, a few uh, bigger uh, senior living homes coming in. So if you've got parents that perhaps you're gonna be moving into the area or you're thinking of your personal future, just know that San Luis Obispo uh, proper has a couple of communities and um, a few sprinkled out through the area. And I have, um, uh, connections and resources if you need um, help in placing a loved one in a care uh, you know, facility, so a senior care facility. So anyways, um, as I was saying before, it, we, ha we do have a growth ordinance, but right now we are seeing activity you know, with new construction and especially with the ADUs, the accessory dwelling units being um, very uh, proactive and everybody seems to tend to be positive about helping get affordable housing so the ADUs is a way for the homeowner to perhaps get some more income or help a family member uh, have a home uh, and not uh, you know pay what the resale or the current um, you know average price is for a home so lots of opportunities in the development even though we are slower paced than maybe other states or other areas, especially when you're dealing with a home by the beach, you're dealing with the Coastal Commission, which is uh, not always the funnest thing to do. So um, the, this is a big one. So we are moving along with some developments. So if you want some more information on those, or if you uh, have thought of uh, building your own property on land, um, I have some um, personal uh, small builders uh, that are doing some things in the area. So that is also something that you can explore. But this is going to keep, or this is why we feel, this is what I wanted to share with you about why San Luis Obispo County is evolving to the next big real estate market here in the state of California. So friends, I hope you found this video value. Be sure and leave us a comment. And if you need anything, you know, you need to reach out, text, email, day, evening, weekends. It does not matter because we have your back when you're making your way here to San Luis Obispo County or the Central Coast. Anywhere we can get you the right agent and uh, we would love to help you. So until the next video, we'll catch you later.